Introduction Obstacles are meant to challenge you. This makes them incredibly difficult, nuanced, and overwhelming for most people. Despite that obstacles come in many shapes and sizes, there are a few things you can do to overcome them. Whether the obstacle you face is large or small, here are seven foolproof ways to overcome obstacles. You might want to use multiple strategies at once for optimum result. Use these tips next time you want to transform an obstacle into success. Let's get started. The first is correct your mindset. The only way that you can overcome an obstacle is to correct your mindset. When most people think of obstacles, they immediately think of something that is challenging, tough, and stacked against them. Even though obstacles are tough, you shouldn't have an entirely negative view about them. That's because obstacles are not all bad. In fact, obstacles are overwhelmingly positive, even on the worst days. Obstacles help you grow as a person and learn about yourself. Without them, you could never become the person you are meant to be. With this in mind, it is important to view obstacles realistically. That is, view obstacles as challenging in your life, but forces for improvement and positivity. Viewing obstacles in this way is correct and helpful. In addition to correcting your mindset about obstacles, you also need to correct your mindset about overcoming them. Many people have what is called a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset gives up and gets overwhelmed whenever something is difficult. Instead of having a fixed mindset, correct it to a growth mindset. A growth mindset looks at challenges and failure as an opportunity to grow and improve. With this mindset, you will be much better at overcoming any obstacle. To change from a fixed to a growth mindset, you'll have to put in a lot of hard work and intentionality. Reflect on your own thinking and challenge it for the better. During the process, you will likely find yourself with a mixed mindset before landing on a growth one. A mixed mindset is simply whenever you are caught thinking in fixed terms, at one moment in growth terms in another. It shows progress. All around, you need to correct any mindsets that are hindering you from growing or tackling the obstacle. Two of the most common unhelpful mindsets include viewing obstacles as all bad and a fixed mindset. Correct your mindset so that you see both the positives and the negatives in obstacles as well as practice a growth mindset. The second is stay optimistic. Obstacles can be a lot of hard work, sometimes feeling like a force for the worst. Despite this fact, you need to stay positive whenever you face an obstacle. Positivity and optimism help you stay motivated and clear-minded throughout the process. In contrast, being negative, whenever you face an obstacle, will likely lead to failure. Whenever we feel upset or pessimistic, we are more likely to give up or think of poor action steps to take. This makes it next to impossible to overcome the obstacle and view it as a force for good. If you feel that you are getting upset or overwhelmed by the obstacle, take a break for a second. No matter what obstacle you face, you will be able to take a break from it at some point. Focus on something that you enjoy, such as a hobby, a friend, or a family member instead. There may be some times when you cannot take a break at that point in time. For example, the obstacle may need to be resolved immediately. If you find yourself in this situation, consider challenging your negative thoughts. Negative thoughts are often unrealistic and irrational. Talk back to your inner voice by questioning your negativity to see if it is true and helpful. Consider talking to a therapist too. A therapist will help you see the positives in any situation. They will also help you come up with effective and rational action steps to take whenever you feel overwhelmed or taken away by the situation. If you find that you are constantly feeling negative and pessimistic, you may need to go back to our first piece 
of advice, which is to correct your mindset. Overwhelming negativity is often due to a damaging mindset. A therapist may be your best course of action here. Even on the worst days, try to stay optimistic. Staying optimistic, is most important on these sorts of days. Stay optimistic by taking a break, questioning the negativity, or seeing a therapist. You may also need to work on your mindset, if you see that negativity is something you often fall back on. The third is, don't compare yourself to others. In a world of social media, we are often forced to compare ourselves to others. This leads to unnecessary negativity, harmful mindsets, and a number of other side effects that are damaging to our health and well-being. Comparing yourself to others, also hinders your ability to overcome obstacles. Most people don't think of this side effect, but it is true. Whenever you compare yourself to others, you are living by their standards, not your own. When this happens, you often create more obstacles than you solve. That's because it is impossible to live, by a standard if it doesn't come from within. You will feel a lot of anxiety, stress, and other negative feelings whenever you do this. Instead of comparing yourself to others, it is more helpful to compare your current self, to your past self. Looking at your past self, will show you how far you've come, and that there is no need to feel, self-critical. On the flip side, looking at your past self may motivate you, to become better and realign your life, with your actual ideals. Whenever, an obstacle comes your way, it is important to keep a clear, and focused mind. You cannot see the whole picture, of anyone else's life. Only focus on yourself and your needs when overcoming an obstacle, because that is all you can do. The fourth is, look at the facts. Looking at the facts of your obstacle, is crucial for overcoming it. Many people see an obstacle, but they refuse, to look at its realities or facts. Instead, they only listen to their emotions. Although emotions are important, as we will talk about later, you need to look at the facts first. Unless you look at the facts, you won't know the truth about your obstacle. You might know about it vaguely, but you won't know about its realities, requirements, or outcomes. All of these facts, are needed to create effective action steps for you to follow. To learn about the facts of the obstacle, look at it from an objective point of view. Reflect on why you must face the obstacle, what it means to you, what it requires of you, and if it involves another person. If the obstacle involves someone else, talk to that person and get their perspective on the matter as well. After looking at the facts, then you can move on to setting goals, and overcoming obstacles. Until you do this step, though, it is impossible to know what is required of you, to overcome the obstacle. The fifth is, set goals. We can't talk about overcoming obstacles, without talking about setting goals. Goals help you create, and follow through with action steps that take you from point A to point B. In other words, goals help you overcome your obstacles, by breaking it down into tiny chunks. The best way to set goals is to use the, SMART method. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. What is specific? A specific goal is one that has a single intention, or purpose. You can easily describe what you need to do, without getting confused, or muddled along the way. Lose 10 pounds is a specific goal, while lose weight is not. What is measurable, a measurable goal, is a little bit more self-explanatory. It is one, that can be measured as to whether, or not you accomplished it. Once again, lose 10 pounds, is measurable but lose weight is not. What is, attainable? An attainable goal is simply one, that you can actually accomplish. It is one, that is not too lofty, or outside of the realm of possibility. Lose 10 pounds is easily attainable, but lose 100 pounds may not be. What is, relevant, the goal must be, relevant to what you want out of life, or to overcome the obstacle. Many people set goals, that they think are relevant, but are actually not. If the obstacle is losing weight, 
lose 10 pounds is relevant, but buy new workout gear is not. Time bound, binding your goal to a specific time keeps you motivated. It prevents you from slacking. Lose 10 pounds is not time bound, but lose 10 pounds in 3 months is. The goals you set should incorporate, all 5 of the previous characteristics. By setting these SMART goals, you create attainable action steps, that help you break down, the obstacle so you can overcome it. The fifth is, don't forget about, your emotions. As we already mentioned, emotions are very important, to overcoming obstacles. While most people struggle, with getting swept away with their emotions, others have the opposite issue. They only think in terms of rationality, and facts, which neglects an important aspect of their self, and well-being. Whenever facing any obstacle, you can't discount your emotions. When you do this, you are jeopardizing, your own health, and stability. It also prevents you from seeing crucial facts about an obstacle, such as its meaning to you. When first faced with an obstacle, you need to determine if it is worth your time, or has any meaning in your life. If you don't think about your emotions, you won't truly know, how you feel about the obstacle, and you might take on an obstacle, that you don't really care about. This puts unnecessary strain and stress in your life. While overcoming the obstacle, you have to be in touch with your emotions too. Being in touch with your emotions, throughout the process will show you, whenever you need to take a break, or ask for help. If you don't do these things, you damage your physical and mental health. As you are overcoming obstacles, remember to stay in touch with your emotions throughout the entire process. Though you shouldn't get swept away by them, you shouldn't ignore them either. It is just as dangerous. The sixth is, reflect. One of the best ways for overcoming obstacles, is to learn from your past obstacles. Your past obstacles give you tips, and ideas for how to use your strengths, to overcome any challenge you face. In order to learn, from an obstacle, you must reflect on it first. Throughout the entire process, reflect on yourself, your weaknesses, your strengths, and your abilities. This teaches you more about yourself than you will ever know. Knowing yourself is what boosts your self-esteem and ability to overcome obstacles. Even after the obstacle is beat, still reflect on the situation. Did you learn anything new by the end? What lessons did you learn from the obstacle? Reflect on these sorts of questions, and take them to heart. The next time an obstacle comes your way, you will be able to recall this information, and use it to beat this new obstacle, as well. Not to mention, this reflection makes the experience more meaningful to you, which might make obstacles a more positive experience in your mind. Conclusion Obstacles, are very challenging and require a lot of work. Luckily, there are some foolproof methods, you can try out to overcome any obstacle you may face. Correcting your mindset, staying optimistic, and focusing on yourself are all imperative steps for overcoming an obstacle. Likewise, looking at the facts, setting goals, and considering your emotions will help you overcome the obstacle in a way that is efficient and helpful to your well-being. During and after the entire process, reflect on it so you can pull out the information at a later point. Incorporate one or many of these tips into your routine, when overcoming obstacles, so that you can overcome them efficiently, quickly, and productively.